Hey guys, welcome back to Music Talk with John. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know my experience with copyright warnings and copyright strikes. What happened is uh, I was doing a walk and talk and I normally do it through a program on my phone called Prism and that allows me to put the songs into the program and pop it up and talk about it. What Prism is meant to do really is stream it's a, like a streaming thing so I don't have my thousand subscribers and my hours met yet so I can't live stream on YouTube yet so I use Prism and it allows me to pop it up and easily talk about the stuff as I'm walking along. Thing with Prism is it because it is a streaming thing it go it goes automatically to YouTube. Now I can set it to private settings which is how I normally shoot my walk and talk videos. I have them loaded up, I have it private, so it does end up going to YouTube anyway, but it goes into the live section and it as private. So that's never been an issue, never been a problem. Um, what happened to me was I decided to go ahead and go live and show a song. So what happened is I went ahead and started the thing, loaded it up, started the thing, the the, uh, the recording, live stream. I don't even know why I did it, to be honest with you, because I it's daylight out, um, the, the sun, I can't see comments. I don't know what I was thinking in the first place. So it's just a, a, these weird, strange circumstances of things I never normally do. So I start the stream, I'm going along, get towards the end of the stream, and you know, I'm so focused on the stream and talking and listening to the song that I didn't notice that like down at the bottom of the screen over here there's a little warning a uh, little notification so once I, I ended the broadcast I stopped it and then I looked I'm like oh um, there's an issue you know it's usually that'll come up if I have a low internet connection or something let me know that this might this video might get shaky so then I noticed uh, I don't know at what point but a drop down came on my phone and it said uh, it was a message from YouTube, so um, I looked at it, and it just said, you know, your your content, something about, you know, can't be seen or whatever, because, I don't remember what it said, it, it's just basically telling me your content can't be shown, so I'm like, okay, well, I tried to do a live stream, um, I didn't think about going to check my email, and I was, you know, just assuming, it, you know, I don't know, that it just wasn't allowing me to put it out there. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I said, you know, I don't really like the idea of this video anyway. It's probably not gonna turn out well. Let me let me redo it. That's my mistake. That was my fatal mistake. Um, so I went ahead, I guess not fatal, because my channel's still up. Uh, so I went ahead and shot it again, like I normally do. Set the settings to private. It does go to YouTube, but it's in the private settings. Everything's cool. So I'm shooting the video. Then again, towards the end or whatever, I notice, oh look, there's a thing again. And then I noticed again, there was a message from YouTube. So I'm like, okay. So I go and I check my emails. And the first one that I received for the live stream was basically a warning from YouTube. And this is how they do it. And it said, uh, our, our team reviewed your content and unfortunately, we think it violates our spam, deceptive policies, and scams policy. So I guess this, I don't know. I, I, okay. We've removed the following content from, your t from YouTube. Bob Dylan, I and I. That was the song I was, I was reviewing. So it says, uh, we know that this might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal, and we'll take another look. Keep reading for more details. So it just says um, how the content violated the policy, and it says we've detected content in your live stream that may belong to somebody else, which is true. I was not cor and was not corrected following repeated warnings of possible abuse. Now. I don't know where these warnings are coming from. I did not get repeated warnings of possible abuse. So that's that's interesting to me. Um, so you may not have intended to include this content, but live streams should be act actively monitored by the channel owner and any potential issue should be corrected in a timely manner. Okay, so, um, and then it tells you how it affects your channel uh, because it's the first time, this is just a warning. If it happens again, your channel will get a strike and you won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. All right, so 
that was there. Then this was also there, like literally like maybe even not even five minutes later, whatever it was. And this one came up. It says, hi, music talk with John. Our team has reviewed your content. And fortunately we think it violates our spam to set the policy uh, practices and scam policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube. Same song. We know that this might be disappointing, but it's important. Okay. So how your content violated it, it's basically the same thing. We detected that your live stream, um, the content belongs to somebody and all that, but it says how this affects your channel. So, and you can see uh, on this one, there's a, uh, this picture here, it shows uh, a guy holding up a, a card, I guess like in soccer, like you've got a strike or maybe that's a, yeah, I don't know what that is, but. And the first one showed a little guy blowing a whistle for the warning. So for this second one, for this now I have a strike, it says your channel now has one strike. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. So I am now in YouTube jail, basically. Um, I, I may be parole, because I can still go on other people's live streams. I can, um, you know, still watch things or whatever. So I guess I'm on parole. I just, I have limitations to what I can do right now until my sentence or my my, my uh, punishment has been served, made that for. So anyway, um, so going back to it, your channel now has one strike. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. Second strike will prevent you from publishing content for two weeks. Three strikes in the same 90 day period will result in your channel being permanently removed from YouTube. So you have a 90 day period. In 90 days, you cannot get three strikes or you're done. You can get two, and then after 90 days, you know, of the first one, it runs off, second one runs off, and you're good. Um, it says what to do next. 95% of creators who get one strike never get another one. We want that for you too. So please make sure you understand YouTube's community guidelines and, base, and strike pop basics. So I went ahead and appealed it. I was like, you know what, here's my, here's the problem I have with it is, okay, I, I get it. The first one I put up, it was, it was the content and it was live streaming. And maybe because it's live streaming, that's where the issue is, I guess, because I put these videos up all the time and talk about them and do all this and I get a copyright claim, which is fine if I can't monetize it and it goes to the artist. Great. No problem. So this one, if you're doing it during a live stream, you get an automatic uh, warning or strike or whatever level you're on at that point. So that's the only difference that I can see of what I did. I still stopped the song like I always do. I talked about it, all that. So that's uh, the only difference I can see because of maybe doing it live and then taping it or filming it. I say taping like we're in 1988 here. Uh, you know, instead of just filming it and putting it out and getting a copyright claim, if they see you doing it live, they don't want anything like that, I guess. So their security or their algorithms are really watching the live stream. So this is just kind of letting you guys know. So I did the appeal. And it came back really quick. Um, so this is what it said. Hi, Music Talk with John. We have reviewed your appeal for the following. Bob Dylan, I and I reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our spam, deceptive policies, and scam policies. We know that it's probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place. How does this impact your content? We won't be putting your content back up on YouTube. If your appeal was for a warning, you will not be given another warning in the future. If your appeal was for a strike, the strike will remain on your channel. You can find more information about this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So there it is. And it came back really quick. So I'm wondering, you know, is this just a computer spitting this stuff out? Is this, they don't even review it? Is there a human? I can't imagine that they did it this quickly. And they, you know, came back that quickly with somebody actually looked at it when they probably, I don't know how many of these they probably get in a day. The timing of it is, uh, sketchy to me, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm not real thrilled with it, but it, it makes me rethink some things, you know, and one thing I don't get is, and I'm not naming channels, I'm not pointing anybody out, but things that I've noticed, it's actually several channels, they'll put on a freaking album and play the whole thing, like on a live stream, and people talk about it. So I'm like, are they just picking the right material? Is it because it's older? Maybe some of it's more obscure? what's going on because some of the albums that i've seen aren't obscure they're like um i'm not gonna name bands or anything 
they're more current. So how are they doing that? How are they playing? I mean, not even stopping. They're playing. They're literally showing you. All you see on the screen is their record player. And they're playing the whole freaking thing and flipping aside. It's great. It's fun to watch. And I think that's what we should be able to do. And if that content goes towards um, the the uh, rightful owner of it, then, uh, you know, the money, or if it monetizes, and let it. So... But maybe they look at a live stream as far as, you know, you can live stream and then not keep it up and it goes away. So you basically, you know, I know you can get donos and things like that during a live stream. So maybe they're looking at like, oh, you can monetize and do all these things and then just delete the video later and the artist gets nothing. So maybe that's how they look at it. It's just a thought. So it's just very confusing to me that I play one song and I get this. And one of them wasn't even public, one was private, and then somebody else can put up a whole album for three hours on a live stream and, and not even get it. Well, I don't think they got anything because YouTube will stop the, the live stream. So, I don't know. Uh, it's very confusing to me. So it appears that they get just get to be able to do it. And again, I am not against it i think it's the greatest thing i think this is a great way for people to see new music and for artists to get exposed you know things like that so that's where we are so that's my little journey so i don't know by the time this video comes out i might have talked about it on a live stream i'm not sure glenn's gonna be on he's on tuesday night so i might end up on his and who knows if i'll be talking about it on his but um that's a uh, glenn Glenn Kellaway from the basement is a channel I'm talking about. He has a show every Tuesday night about nine o'clock Eastern time. So that's what I have for you guys. I just wanted to let you know it is frustrating, but you know, it's the world we live in. It makes me the, the YouTube world we live in. And it makes me kind of rethink this whole thing. If I should continue doing these walk and talks, and it makes me nervous having these videos out there that have copyright claims. But I was told by somebody that uh, another channel was doing something similar and, um, but it was like more uh, art related or uh, anime kind of thing. They were, had a channel. And what happened to them was the company that they were, this content creator was doing, like they did several videos with this company's material. Company didn't like it. Boom, boom, boom. They got all their strikes in one day and they were done. You know, I had, I, I got a warning and a strike within, a, let's say a five to 10 minute period. So that's, that's interesting. Okay. Sorry. I just wanted to jump in here real quick. And I just wanted to give you a little uh, idea of what you can do to make sure the music you're using, just in case you get into a song that um, might be questionable as far as what you want to use. There's a way to sort of check the music that's available that you'll get a copyright claim on in YouTube, but you won't get a, you shouldn't get a strike. Uh, maybe it's length, I don't know. But a way to kind of just quick check a song is you can go into, and I think this is the only way to do it is on a mobile device. The, these instructions are for mobile, for your phone. And what you do is you go to, you open your YouTube app and down at the bottom there where you see like subscriptions, all that, right in the middle, there's a little plus sign with a circle around it. You hit that and then you hit um, a menu will come up and you can do create short, do that then it'll come up like you're looking at a camera and at the top you'll see add sound and you can click that and what that does it it shows you all the stuff that's available as far as music inside of youtube so you can basically use those songs and they allow you up to a minute on that with the, and you get the copyright claim either way because i use this to do my shorts all the time so that's a quick way to do a check on a song. So if you're not familiar with that, you can definitely check that out. So hopefully that helps. So back to the video. That's what I wanted to share with you. Just kind of a little rant, but at the same time, this is the YouTube world we live in. So this is where you have to check yourself and make sure you're doing things and it makes you not want to, you know, put music and things like that in your videos. But I think that's a great way to entertain people and give them a little taste of music. So anyway, that's what I have for you guys. Thanks for hearing me out if you made it to the end of this bad boy. And uh, until next time, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your music and you take care out there, all right? Bye.